can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. The components of reaction of the ball and socket joints A and the tension each cable necessary for equilibrium of the road. So for this question, uh, you might be starting to say, oh my gosh, another problem with uh, moments of force and in 3D, you know, calculating moments in 3D and matrices and all that stuff. Well, to be honest, look at the graph, right? There is one going to this direction, one going to this direction, going to BD and BC. These forces are exact, you know, magnitudely, magnitudably, they should be the same, right? And also, since these two are going to the same uh, direction, they, um, it cancels out some of the forces, right? What are the opposite in which aspect, in which axis? They're opposite uh, they're of their y values, right? Because they're going to the same direction as, as z and x direction, right? They moved, um, their x moved backwards by six and their uh, z direction moved upwards by three, but their y direction went uh, one positive two, one negative two. Well, in this case, that means when these four, this system is in equilibrium, it means these two forces that will, it will cancel the y forces out of these two forces, right? So these two does not generate any um, y force in its resultant force, right? Because as we know, we can summarize two forces as one uh, at one point, right? So together, they will just be one thing and goes right over here. So if this force, if, it, if these two forces not have y forces and this force does not have y forces, well, the reaction force at A, that means there's no y forces as well, right? Because since you know the sum of the y forces should be equal to zero, well then, and there's only one force, well a y must um, equal to zero. So we are we can already draw that conclusion. Now, if so, th since there are three forces over here, right? Um, the x y z forces. Um, since and then we can use the moment at B. Sorry, we can use the moment at B, the sum of the moments, right? This this way, get rid of the two forces over here, and it get rid of the x forces, right? The um, it, you know a x is going to the direction of B, therefore it does not have any force. Now we also know that a y is zero. You know it doesn't matter where or does it go, it's zero. That could generate a force, but it's zero, so it generates none. And all that's left is a z, um, a z, and a z must go goes upwards um, because this is going negative, this is going positive, right? So a z times the six meters, right? Three meters plus three meters minus six hundred newtons times uh, three meters. Uh, equal proportion a z sure gives you three hundred. Newton, just like that. See, now we found a uh, a z three hundred, right? And since we can find a of z, that means we can find out the using the sum of the forces, right? Because there's one, there's two, and the rest of the force co goes between these two, and we can summarize as one. So one equation, one unknown we're able to solve the uh, the tension in TC because TC is equal to TD, right? Magnitudely, not directionally, right? They're not the same vector, but not magnitudely. Um, therefore, well, what's the Z component of these two forces? Uh, let's see, so Z moved upwards by three and over how many? Uh, three. 9, 6, 39, uh, 36, 45, 49, uh, 7. Square root of 49 equals 7, right? That's the mag that's the unit vector of the of, of one of those, uh, of two of these, right? Because it's squared, so all equals to the same. This is, sorry, 3, 4, 7. Uh, times the magnitude of TC or TD, it doesn't really matter. And since there are two forces uh, times two, this is the z direction uh, component of the two forces over there. 
uh, if we say, well, we say the sum of the forces in z, right, equals going upwards is positive, well, then going negative is the 600 newtons, and going positive also there is the 300 newtons we just calculated from az. Um, and then solve for magnitude of TC, right, that's the, that's the only force that we're trying to look at. I'm trying to solve the only unknowns, uh, it wish plug everything into your calculator, it should give you 350 newtons. And once you solve that, then, you know, now you can solve the sum of the forces in the um, z direction, right? Because now we can just use this and find the z. So that, I'm sorry, so let's go up here. I mean, sorry, the x direction. So 350 newtons and 350 newtons. And ax, for ax, which is going, must go in this direction, right? And that's the only unknown, so ax um, is equal to the x direction of the two forces. So it's negative six, um, negative six over uh, seven times 350, right? I'm, yes, that's correct. And um, times two, right? Because there are two forces that are like that. Um, this is, should be positive because if we put this into this side, it would be negative. Put this side would be positive. It becomes positive. Why can I not write anymore? Positive. And, um, well, we can simplify this. 700 minus 100. So that should be 600 newtons, right? 700 over here. can divide by 700. 6 times 100. 600. So AX should give you um, 600 newtons. And this is it. This is, um, and we found all of the components, and uh, we're done for this question. So yeah, uh, this is a relatively easy one. The main point for this one is, you know, you know, realize that these two tensions are symmetrical, and that cancels the y-axis. And from then there, you don't really have to use um, some of the moments, or you know, using moments in three D and use all of the matrices. It saved you a lot of time. Um, I mean, the answer sheet does go through the regular regular um, procedure, but um, since you can prove it like this, well, somewhere if you professor, you know, are one of those picky ones, you can just say, well, uh, T and C are T D T C are symmetrical or symmetric symmetrical on the. Uh, x-axis, right? Therefore, uh, some of the y direction force f over here of tc plus td should equal to zero, right? You can write something like that for your processor to, to say, and they're like, okay, he understood, he found the loophole, I guess. Um, but yeah, hopefully this question was, uh, was helpful. Um, I don't think your professor will give you one of those because it would be too easy. Right, because um, once you find that, uh, you know, you basically solve the problem. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching my video, and uh, good luck on your revisions. I'll see you in the future. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.